this video, I am going to show you how to truly design your Squarespace website to be your own unique site, but primarily focusing on one key aspect, which is it's going to be getting all the elements designed the way you want and making it as simple, as straightforward as possible. With design, it could take hours and hours and hours because if you're doing one thing at a time, it can feel like a meticulous, drawn out process. But we're going to do this in one full sweep. So the first thing we want to start with, and we're going to only focus in on right now in this video, I have other videos to help you further with fonts and colors and all of that. But in this video, we are going to focus on setting up a design page to use as a clear way to design basically everything on your site. So let's begin. First thing we're going to do is go to design. I want to show you what the possibilities are. If you're new to this, if you've done this before, you have a sense, but this should be quick. So if I click on design and then site styles, it'll throw me over to the right here where you'll see there's options for the fonts. And if I click into this, there's options for heading, paragraphs, buttons, and miscellaneous. There's also some more, but let's just start there. Color. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten background colors. You'll see here it says bright two, bright two. This is lightest one, lightest one, lightest one, light one, and this is dark one. So we're using about four on the home page right now, but there's ten here. And then after that, animations, spacing. Let's take a look at spacing, which is page max and site margin. All right. And then image blocks, and let's take a look there. So there's the poster, there's six different ones. Poster, card, overlap, collage, and stack. Five plus the regular, so six total. And then product items, how product items lay out. But right now, we're not going to focus on product items so much as, or even image blocks, as much as these, let's say, fonts, colors, spacing a little bit, and buttons. So let's begin. All right, so I'm going to get out of this editor. And I'm going to go to the site and I'm going to create a new page. First thing I'm going to do is go to page and I'm going to not linked. I'm going to click the plus sign and I am going to click a blank page. I'm just going to start with a blank page. So here we're going to call it design page. Anytime I'm doing something that I know if it's a live site or anything, there's two precautions I take. I turn off enabled page if I don't want it to ever show up in the real world. And then also if I'm not so caught up on that, I will just do the hide from search results. So it's not getting pulled by Google in any way. Both of those are two levels of protection. SEO, if you just turn off SEO, people could still access it. And if you turn off the enabled, no one could access it unless they're logged in. Okay, cool. So now let's log in. If I go to edit, let's add a section. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add the first section and then duplicate it out 10 times. Remember there were 10 different styles. So we're going to create it once and go from there. I haven't done this in a while. So I might miss something. I hope I don't, but let's go through it. So the first thing is we're going to have to do all the font styles. So you'll see here heading one all the way to monospace. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go heading one, heading two, heading three, heading four, paragraph one, paragraph two. Okay. Now what you can do normally is just click on the line anywhere or you could highlight the actual word and go and start selecting them. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut, which is command option. I'm on a Mac command option. And if I go to six, that's heading one. There's always an extra space here. So I'll just get rid of that. Heading two is five command option eight, five. There's three heading four paragraph one paragraph two. This is paragraph three. So that's really tiny. And then this one, what is that? That's paragraph three again. Okay. So I just have that actually, and that is everything. And then this is format monospace. Cool. So those are all the headings. Now, what we want to do next is buttons. So I'm going to do this button and I'm just going to do, I'll leave it center actually and do small and then medium and then medium is the default. So I don't have to do anything there and I'll do large. And for the sake of, I might just do this. So they're next to each other. Okay. And then down here, it's only showing up right there. Let me just add the next item. The next item will be image. We're going to do an image and I'm only going to do one, but you could technically do all six of these. Remember inline poster card overlap collage stack. The one I use the most and love is card. 
And what you'll see is right now it's stacking on top of each other, but in a bigger format, it'll go to the left. Yeah, so let's do this. I just need to drag this till I get that blue line. I'm gonna throw it right there and then I'm gonna drag it. There we go. I just wanted the blue line that goes across the whole page. There we go. And now let me go back in and I'm just gonna grab this image here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this to like a heading three or two. Let's do a heading three for now. And then this is just regular text, perfect. All right, so that is good to go. You could change this from left to right, but I just want to start there. Okay, so we are good to go there. There are probably like one or two more things we wanna to touch on, which are gonna be, let's add in a link. So I'm gonna do, this is a link. And so I'm just gonna add a link, do forward slash, and then I hit tab on my keyboard to get out of that, but there's a link, so we see that. And then I will go here and add a line. I'm actually gonna add it here and leave it like that. There is one more thing that is useful in this process, which is going to be giving each section a name. So let me just do this and add a text box here so that I could add a name. So as you know, this one has its name of lightest one, lightest two, light. So here I'm gonna do lightest one, and just make that a little bit bigger and center it like that and then go from there. Okay, so this is set up. Now I just duplicate it and now I have the entire section again and I change it to lightest two and I could go here, color, lightest two, just like that, duplicate again and that process continues. So, so here now I'm doing the third one, which is going to be color. There we go. As you can see already, the all the fonts change, the line color changes, all of that. So there's that. Now we go to light two and we make that adjustment and we just gotta go in and make sure we do the adjustment every time. Next is bright one, bright one, okay. Color, bright two. Oh, I need to change that one. Okay, bright two, there we go. And here, this next one is going to be dark one. Okay, and then I'm gonna duplicate that and this one will be dark two. Okay, so now I am finalizing darkest two and now I have them all set up. So you can see how this works, how it looks, all of that. One thing I'm gonna do is just edit the site header as well a little bit so we can get a feel for it. The one thing I'd like to do here is I'd like to set it to fixed position. To me, fixed position and basic is one of the best user experiences. You can't see it while you're logged in. Okay, and once I hit save, then you can see it work. So now you're seeing that it just sits there when you're on the site, wherever you are on the site, okay? So now we have all these different sections built out, which is really cool. It's all there now. Now imagine with the design process, this simplifies it a lot. This is gonna make it so much easier for you to go through the process and ensure that everything is as you want it on the site and as you go. Okay, and so one final note that I wanna make is, so I'm gonna go back up to the site header here and I'm gonna do color. Right now you see it's transparent. You could keep this, but in my case, I do not want to, mainly because it's going to change. That means it changes the color of this stuff if this setting is different. So let me show you. So right now, lightest one, if I click this little pencil and I go to colors and I choose perhaps for this section, I choose this. Do you see how the button's now gray? That might work for you. You know, it might work. Let me just do this. The text changes. If you don't have a logo, that's gonna change as well. I just don't like that all those items change constantly throughout the site. As of right now, the button is all the same color except that one, the button turns white and it turns back to gray. Yeah, there's just a lot of things there that I'm not too in love with. So I am just gonna set this site header here and do colors and then go like that and turn off transparent. And I'm just gonna leave it on lightest one. You could change it. You could choose which one you want, but I'm gonna leave it on lightest one. And that basically means once you design it with lightest one, that's what it's gonna look like throughout your site. So you don't have to redo it every single time. All right, so that is how you set up a design page. And I'm gonna go in another video through the process of how you actually like change everything. But now when you go to design site styles and you start making adjustments, well, you could see what it looks like throughout the site. So you'll see lightest one here, lightest two. And so you could make an adjustment here. And if you go to click here on light one and want to make an adjustment to say the section background, you're like, I kind of like that color, but I'd like to use a different color. Well, 
and it works. There we go. If you want to adjust it, it's so easy to do in that way because now you're able to make those adjustments and see how it relates to everything. It's like, oh, that link is ugly. So we actually have to go to links and go to text link and click on that and make it like a full black, which looks a lot better and then go through those adjustments. So you could do that for all the colors and not just the colors, but the fonts. The fonts are standard, whether you have this page or not. Spacing, it just shows you how it looks across the board and then for buttons as well. And so just like that, it gives you full control on how to design your site. Hey, congrats, you made it to the end of this Squarespace training. If you got value from this video, you will definitely get value from some of the resources that we've created. Please go to spacebaragency.com forward slash resources. The link will be down below in the description. And there we have a ton of eBooks, PDFs, and resources for you, for your website, for SEO, to help you grow your business. And just a quick disclaimer, most of the resources they're free. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. If you hit the like button, it tells the YouTube algorithm some very important information, but it also tells me that you got value from this video. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.